Lord. Our passage for daily devotion is taken from the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9, where the Lord speaks to Joshua. He says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. What a wonderful reassurance of God's covenant to his people. Is if you look at this chapter, Israelites are at an important stage on the way to their promised land. Till now, Moses was leading them, and there is a change in the leadership now. Joshua is the new leader. Joshua was under the shadow of Moses, but now God ordained him to be the leader. Even though he walked with Moses and saw the glory of God, leading people is completely new for Joshua. That's when the Lord speaks to Joshua and reaffirms his promises and covenant which he gave to their forefathers. If you look at the covenant that God made with Moses or with Abraham, especially with Moses at Mount Sinai, God has demonstrated his love by saving Israelites from Egypt. He had shown his faithfulness to his promises that he made to his people. He formalized the relationship with Israelites and promised to them to make them a special people for himself. And fourthly, God gave them instructions for how to live. In this chapter, chapter 1 of Joshua, if we see God has repeated to Joshua three times to be strong and not to and to be of good courage. That shows how faithful our Lord is towards his people and towards his covenant. He will always meet us at the point of our need, no matter what our situation is. God knows when to intervene. So firstly, he is, through this verse, we can learn that he is faithful, promise-keeping God. Secondly, he not only gives us promises and keeps commands, covenants, but he is a trustworthy God who fulfills his promises. If we read the book of Joshua further, we can see how God fulfilled his promises. Out of the many instances that God demonstrated his favor on Israelites in the book of Joshua, I want to pick up two instances. One is the Jericho walls coming down and the second one is the sun stopping us from setting itself. This is truly the work of God. If we think with our human knowledge and with our reasoning mind, both the instances seem impossible. But if, but this is purely the work of God to assure the people of Israel that he is with them always. I want to encourage each one of us, no matter what situation we are in, God is assuring us through this verse that he is always with us. All our circumstances might seem un unfavorable, health problems, financial problems, our life might not be the way it ought to be. But Lord God wants us to be strong and of good courage because he is with us. This is a privilege for all of us. This is an honor. This is a blessing for all of us. But we also need to know, as, as in Deuteronomy 7, 6, as, as the Bible says, For you are a holy people to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you to be a people for himself, a special treasure. That's such an honor from God to all of us. That is how he keeps his commandments. That is how he keeps his covenant. So we know that through the verse that God is faithful, he's a promise-keeping God, but what about us? In Daniel 11, 2, 11, 32, we can see that the people who know their God is strong. I want to ask us today, do we know our God that much as we ought to? Do we have understanding of his nature, understanding of his faithfulness? Do we believe and trust his promises? Or are we getting disturbed and start doubting his covenant, start doubting his promises? Small problem that we encounter, are we becoming weak and discouraged? Are we losing trust in God when situations does not turn favorable to us? Today, God wants all of us to be strong and of good courage and not to be afraid or dismayed because he is with us. He is faithful God who keeps his covenant all the time, irrespective of the circumstances. Let's have the confidence like David where he says in Psalm 27, 1, The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? May the Lord richly bless this word to all of us. Amen and thank you.